okay hi virgo welcome back to my channel guys if you're new here welcome and if you are returning thanks so much for supporting the channel so i'm going to go ahead and do a little sneak peek into october and let's see what the energy is going to be like for some of my virgos now this is a general message so it may not resonate with everyone take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest anybody interested in a personal reading my information is always down below thanks to those who do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So, Spirit, can we get a little sneak peek into the month of October for Virgos? What can they expect? I do hope that everybody's well, Virgos, okay? All right, give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Oh, so we have the Goddess of the Moon. And we do have a full moon tonight, guys. Okay, so we'll see what that is about. Bottom of the deck, we do have envy, though. Ah, because of cornucopia. So, you know, spirit is opening some doors for you here, Virgos. Okay, looks like it's going to bring in some sort of abundance, happiness, wealth here for you guys. Uh, and you're going to have some jealous people, and that's okay. That's okay. You just keep your vibration high. Going forward. Ooh, turning over, we have hostilities, yeah. But right behind it, we have the angel of strength. So know that you are very much protected, okay? Also, that energy of spirit is saying, hey, listen, anything that is coming towards you, Virgos, you can very much handle it, okay? You have that inner strength. You have the courage. You have the bravery. Some of you may have Leo highly aspected in your chart. Okay, I just need one card for going forward for the month of October. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. Okay. So coming out sideways, there's a blockage here. It says financial constraints. So let's see why it's here. Hmm. All right, Spirit, give me a sneak peek into October for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. What is this goddess of the moon? This makes me feel like for some of my Virgos, pay attention to your intuition, your dreams in the month of October. Okay. Why is this here? For my Virgo, show me the strength card. Make sure that you are having confidence in yourself, confidence in the visions, downloads, and things like that that you get here. Okay, show me more. Oh, the Ace of Cups. Okay, new beginnings coming out here for my Virgos, new relationships. This is you, for some of you, you know, like I said, finding that strength and pouring into yourself. For some of you, this can talk about fertility. But overall, this is celebrations. It's that energy of your cup overrun, right? Show me more. Month of October. Yes, yeah, six of wands, victory and success. We just saw that um, spirit opening doors for you. This is public recognition. This is people celebrating you. This is you having support. This is you, for some of you, being seen. So show me more. Wow. Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Business is doing well. This is some of you starting some new um, physical regimes. You know, so some of you may be going on diets or you're just uh, maybe watching what you eat. Some of you, I see you join the gym or doing something physical here, maybe getting out more. But this is you having some sort of creative spark. Like I said, whether it be in business or whether it be in passion. This is some of you recognizing and realizing your potential and your gifts. 
finding the strength and the courage to actually go out there and present them to people, showing the world the real you. This is you having growth. For some of you, you've been waiting for this. Three of Wands. Some of you, you're learning to put fear behind you, and that's good. One more card for the Goddess of the Moon. A Hierophant. A higher knowing. This is for some of Virgos becoming committed to something. This is you learning new things for some of you. This is you going out there and showing the world the knowledge and the wisdom that you have. It makes me feel like some of you are meant to be teachers, leaders. For some of my Virgos, the next month, in the month of October, I don't know if somebody's getting married next month here. Um, that's going to go very well if that's the case. Some of you could be getting proposed to, maybe publicly. So this looks good. The number five, the Hierophant is the number five and it talks about change. Hmm. Yeah, look at that, the full card at the bottom of the deck. Going on brand new journeys here. Taking a leap of faith into things. So what is this financial constraints? Bearing it was coming out sideways. Four of Pentacles, yeah, that is definitely my penny pinching card here. This is definitely an energy, an energy of someone here having to kind of account for every penny where it goes right this is an energy of budgeting some of you you're just very much trying to figure out here what can you do to bring in financial security for yourself so show me more for the financial constraints give me a sneak peek into october thank you spirit the chariot, that's what I like. Look at this. For some of you, you've been waiting for a long time to be able to balance out your finances, to be able to afford those things that you would like. But the chariot talks about movement. But you also have the knight of pentacles. Now, the chariot is also an energy of being divinely guided. So like I said, for some of you, pay attention to your dreams and that your ancestors are trying to show you where it is that you can change things. How you can make things better. Knight of Pentacles also does talk about patience. It talks about being practical. Responsible when it comes to your money. So for some of you, maybe you need to hold back a little bit when it comes to spending in the month of October. Especially if you know that you don't kind of have it like that. The Knight of Pentacles to me also talks about making long-term plans. Maybe some of you need to kind of write out a plan of, you know, this is what I can and can't spend this month or this is what I, I need to do. Maybe writing things down is going to be very helpful for you. Show me more. It really feels like, yeah, I can see it. I feel like some of you are really trying to build. I'm seeing like the three of pentacles. Slow down on spending a little bit for someone here, okay? Give me one more for financial constraints. Coming out sideways. The moon card. Why is the moon card here? Justice and the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. And for some of you, for some of you, there may be someone here in the month of October that wants to come towards you, right? They may be moving very slowly here. Maybe because they're indecisive. I'm also hearing for some of you, you're waiting to hear about some sort of legal situation. You may not know the outcome. 
Maybe it's causing you some sort of fear. You may hear something about this in the month of October. Give me one more. Yeah, there's that three of pentacles I was talking about. Month of October. Eight of cups and a six of swords. Some of you, when it comes to your finances in the month of October, you're going to have to make some sort of decision of, um, let's say you do a nine to five, you're going to have to make some sort of decision if you're going to stay in that situation. Because for some of you, this nine to five is not emotionally fulfilling you. So maybe you're even in a job where you just feel like, you know, you work so hard, but at the end of the month, you still can't really see what it is that you can save or put away or so maybe some of you need to contemplate about your workplace. Anything else that my Virgos need to know for the month of October? Anything that stands out, Spirit? Two of Swords. Give me two more cards. Seven of Wands. Page of Cups. Listen to your intuition. <laughs> Look at that as I'm saying that. The High Priestess. I was saying that because of the Page of Cups. High Priestess at the bottom of the deck with the King of Swords. Yes, listen to your intuition. You've got the Lovers and the Seven of Cups with the Devil. Some of you need to also be careful of the people that you are intimate with or people that you choose to partner up with here. Because I don't like the energy of the devil and the seven of cups here. I mean, it could just mean that there's someone here that is a little bit obsessed here with you. Seven of cups with the lovers could talk about, you know, they wonder if them coming back towards you, will you take them back? Your intuition. But for others of you, two of swords with the seven of wands. Some of you, you feel like you're at a stalemate position here in something. Or maybe just in life. Spirit is saying that with the seven of wands, you've got to stand up and fight for what it is that you believe in here. This is about fighting your corner. This is that energy of, yes, you're going to come up against challenges here. But I told you at the very beginning with the strength card and we saw it twice. You have the power, you have the inner strength to overcome these obstacles, to avoid these people. Some of you, you've got an admirer. They may be showing their face in the month of October. So, anything that my Virgos need to know about October... You have the past returns for a time. So like I said, maybe somebody that you have blocked or somebody that you just avoid at this time. Someone here is coming back around for sure. But for how long? I don't know. You have an important end and a new beginning. Yeah. See that energy of spirit saying to you that, listen, for some of you, you know, the people that are in your past, they're in the past for a reason. Right. We've got new doors opening here for you. Some of you, you need to focus on. Like I said, your stability, staying grounded, your finances, your businesses, your work. Those things that are going to put you in a place of comfort. Put you in a place where, you know, you can ease your mind. One more. Or two more. Thank you. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have holding on way too tight. And I feel like someone here is holding on way too tight to you. And they may try to come towards you. So we have, it says you see clearly, it says clairvoyance. So stop doubting your intuition here, guys. Some of you, look at this, landed on top of the Hierophant, which I already said is a leader, a teacher. It says the natural world needs you.
you know, the Hierophant, it talks about sharing knowledge. It talks about education. But for some of you, there's, there's something here that you're supposed to present to the world and to the people. Give me one more. From death comes rebirth, transformation. Some of you, you're going to be having some sort of awakening here. I don't know, you may feel like you're going crazy with the ghost people, the haunted girl. But you're not going crazy. Count your blessings that you've been chosen. See, right behind that you have, it's time for a treat. Spirit wants to put some of you in a better space when it comes to your life. So that you enjoy your life on this earthly plane here. See, powerful energy shift. But some of you, you have to eclipse certain things out of your life. Maybe even certain people. For some of you, you just have to eclipse fear out of your life. Month of October. For Virgos, give me three cards. What are we getting stuck on? Self-sabotage. Three cards for my Virgos. We have dreams. Can't say it anymore. Okay. Pay attention. Some of you got the gift of sight. Some of you may even be like prophets, the inner child. Some of you need some to do some sort of healing here. But the, the, the page of cups is like the inner child as well. Maybe some of you have had these gifts since childhood. But now you've got to have the courage to go out there and present them to the world. Use the gifts what they are meant for. And then you have selling out. Hmm. What is this selling out energy? I see temptation at the bottom of the deck. What is this selling out energy? Healing. Hmm. I always see that selling out card as like an enemy. The lessons from a Virgos in the month of October. Thank you, Spirit. One more. Thank you. So the first one I'm seeing here, it says self-esteem. It says, I possess gifts of the soul that benefits me and others. <laughs> I don't know. What can I say? You have purpose. Oh, wow. It says, I know what I'm here to do. And then your last one is discipline. It says, I can accomplish what I set my mind to do. So that kind of sums it up a little bit. Three cards for my Virgos for the month of October. Thank you, Spirit. Self-healing. Another card of explore. Not being afraid to come out of hermit mode. I'm hearing rejoining the world. What else for my Virgos for the month of October? Self-reward. Following your calling is going to be very rewardful for you. It's going to bring you in prosperity and abundance, happiness and joy. Who doesn't want that? Well, I'm at a deck. We've got intuition. But give me one more card. Uh, just one more card. We've got let go. Some of you, it seems like you have restless energy. But the card coming out here, it says breaking illusions. Moving forward and seeing very clearly here. For some of you, you may want to use this full moon. Set your intentions. 
release what it is that you no longer want to hold on to, people you no longer want to hold on to, and call in what it is that you do want. Where should their focus be? In the month of October. Thank you, Spirit. Where should your focus be? Virgos, you have coming out sideways, which tells me that some of you are putting a block on this. Okay. And like I said, I feel like it's through fear. You have shower of abundance. It says to heal you. Wow. You're feeling blocked financially. It says to heal your financial situation. First, give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you allow it. Oh, no. Okay, spirit. Give me three cards to lead out this reading for my Virgos. Virgo, that is your sneak peek into October. Three cards. For my Virgos. Mama well, Dirk, you have celebrations. It says you are ready to bring new and exciting things into your life. You're ready. So the first one I saw was the unicorn card. And it is a number 33, which boils down to a six. We already have the six of ones out here. Success, victory, winning, having the advantage. It says triumph, achievement, praise. It says awards, recognition, recognition, applause, goodwill, fame, celebrity, fan, well wishes, supporters, crowds. So the unicorn card, it says success, hope, freedom, healing and magic are all available to you if you just believe. We have the star card. Some of you may be heading towards stardom, right? We just said celebrity. But again, the star, we know it talks about hope and we know it talks about healing. It says hard times are over. It says, look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. And then your last one is love. And it's a number 17, it boils down to an eight. So for some of you, I feel like maybe there is love coming in towards you, okay? It says, love surrounds all your connections. It says, move forward positively in all areas of your life. But this is also you having love for yourself. Ace of Cups, we already have it out here. New beginnings, new relationships, new romance, love, happiness, joy, conception, fertility, pregnancy, celebrations, and socializing. I feel like for some of you, you're going to meet new people as well in the month of October. Hmm. So Virgos, that is your sneak peek. Guys, if anything in the reading did resonate with you or you claim the energy, answer that you do, hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is when we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light, Virgos.